Ladies and gentlemen, Lord Nod here at the side of the International Four. We are going to be talking to a very, very good uh, concept artist and someone who's done wonderful work. Uh, Jeremy, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Uh, this is wonderful. I have to go ahead and sell you I, this. The, the Abaddon armor is just phenomenal. How do you actually get such inspiration? Uh, Kyle Cornelius did the concept for the Abaddon set. And, well, I, we just interviewed him and he just actually said you both are a great team. Yeah. How do you get to know each other? We work with people, like a mutual friend. Like he works with people I used to work with, so we got hooked up that way. Nice. And, and, and when you both work together, tell, tell me how you, like he designs some, how, how does what the work process work for? Yeah, he just draws an awesome drawing, and I'll sculpt it up like this. Then he'll do like a little draw over, like change these shapes, and then I'll continue on and paint it, texture it up, get it working in game. How long does this double team take to go ahead and like from concept to, not forget approval, but yeah. finish? I'm not so sure how long it takes Kyle to do his concepts, but for my part of the proj project, it may be like four or so weeks, depending on the complexity of the character and how many items they happen to have. So, like, you know, uh, earlier when Dota started to say about, Dota 2 was there for about four years ago, three yeah. years ago, it was very simple models that were coming in. Now the kind of model complexity and the set complexity is, oh my god. So has that, like, made it more difficult for you to go ahead and do work? Uh, Bell's been making it easier and easier for us to get stuff in the game. Like, they're making more tools for us to work with, because before it's more of a process, it's more complicated, and they're making it easier for us just to click a button, put it in the game. We still got tested over and over again, but there's still a lot of work to do, but yeah, they're, they're making it easier and easier as time goes on. Yeah. Well, that's, that's Valve and that's Dota 2. Tell us about all of these, which is there. Which has been your most favorite or most fun to work with? Uh, I like the Fear set, the, the Sven set of Ditcher Fear. It was one of my ideas. I came up with the concept for that one. Uh, Kyle did the hammer sword for it. So I'm kind of more proud of that because these are all like, his are like well done, but they're like his ideas. But that was like my idea also. So I kind of feel, yeah, yeah. yeah. You feel possessive about the one, you just came. Nice, and what's up in the horizon? What, what are you working on in the future? Currently we got a timber saw set in the works. It's, Kyle has it up on his. It's taken me a little while longer than he might like, but <laughs> I'm slowly getting it done, yeah. It's very nice. complicated, yeah. Well, and TI4 comes in the middle. Right? Yeah, and it disrupts my workflow altogether, yeah. yeah well, uh, well, thank you for so much for being on the show. I think you do phenomenal work. Guys, if you like what he does, the link's down below. You should go ahead and pay a tribute by going and buying some of the sets that he has done. This is Lonard saying bye, and I'm going to just be in love with all of this. Cheers.